Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q2 of the Weekly Contest 383. Minimum time to revert, re revert word to initial state one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So this one, um, there are a couple of ways to really think about this problem. Um, and, you know, N is, uh, you go to 50, but we'll go over the, the intuition first, right? The intuition is that, okay, let's say you have some things and then you know for for q2 maybe you could kind of like figure out another way to do it but this is not the way that i thought about this problem and i did this in about two minutes maybe i could have done it faster but but the first the key observation and maybe you don't need it in that you can make you know um is that you know for every k k steps let's say you remove three um you're trying to see if you know uh, let me move this here you're trying to see if you can add some characters and, you know, maybe you brute force them or something like that, but you don't know what to do, kind of try with them, right? So that's the problem. But it turns out it doesn't matter because, um, because the, the key observation is noting that for me, in my mind, and I didn't write it this way, is that I replaced them with wildcards. Why do I have wildcards? That means that if, if these things match, if the prefix match, then it does, then these things will just, will just copy whatever, right? So, so yeah, so then now we, we do another one. I guess this one doesn't, what is this? All right, let me, huh. Okay, so let's say we have this and you have K is equal to three. Then now here, we replace the first three with the the the, right? And then we also replace the first three with the the the. So after two moves, you have A and A matches. So then now the rest doesn't matter because we have just wild cards, right? We could put whatever we want afterwards. We don't have to figure out as with simulating, we can figure out afterwards. And then once you realize this, then now it becomes another problem. It becomes a problem of, okay, um, you know, we can't do zero, but let's say we skip k is uh, one k step away. Is this pre prefix, or sorry, is this suffix um, equal to the prefix? And then that's pretty much the idea, um, and we'll go over the code of how I implement it for Q2. Um, we'll go over Q4 and Q4, but, um, but for Q2, this is how I write it, right? So uh, this is the count. So while true, I'm just a little bit lazy with the while loops. But basically, if the word starts with this suffix, which is k k times count, um, then we return count. That means that if, like we said, if the suffix of the string starts uh, with the word, then we can return count. And that's pretty much it. Um, the, the reason why this terminates is because eventually... Um, after uh, after ca uh, ca what is it n divided by k number of steps or whatever it is round up, um, then you're gonna have all wild cards or equivalently this would be empty string. If this is empty string, this will, this will always be true. So then that's why it returns. Um, and of course in that case, because if you have n is equal to fifty and k is equal to one, then you move one step at a time. So then that's going to be, um, so this means that this loop takes at most n times or 50 times. But yeah, but this is going to be at most n times. This is going to take all of n comparisons, right? You know, character by character comparison. So this is going to be O of n squared time and O of, uh, I guess maybe n space, depending on how you want to count the slice that is created. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Th that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. As I said, I'll explain the harder problem in Q4 video. So check that out. You could watch me solve it live during the contest now. I guess I'm misreading it. What a weird problem. Every second, okay. Mm, this is a double problem, isn't it? Six point.
Let's pretend I understand it. Let's just do it the dumb way. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Stay good, stay healthy to go mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.